Hey folks, Malforan here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're continuing our adventures in the Fallen Eagle mod for Crusader Kings 3, trying to form the uh, the Empire slash Kingdom of Gaul, and we're just going to pick up exactly where we left off last episode. So uh, we're at war with uh, these guys up here. Oh, we just we did actually get that alliance with the uh, with the Eastern Roman Empire. <laughs> I know it goes against our beliefs, but uh, sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do. And um, having nearly 10,000 troops allied with us is uh, is always going to be helpful. So, um, you know, the, the better of two evils, I guess. Um, yeah, we just fought off uh, that rebellion, I believe. And then we're going to finish off this war up here. It shouldn't be too difficult. Should be able to do this. Uh, notable guest has arrived. Flavius Sanctus has a claim on the county of Kent. <laughs> I like how he looks angry, even though he's got like this... <laughs> It's like a mask. He's, he's blind, but you can see his brow over it. He's just that mad. He's that mad. He can. He's very expressive. Oh, and we got somebody else with a uh, a claim on the chiefdom of Cleves. Um, is that in Spain? Oh, she, she's gone. Right, well, we'll find her later on. But yeah, I believe so. Wow, everyone's appearing. Okay. Did somebody just like... Oh, no, it's down here. Oh, I wonder if a bunch of people just got kicked out down here. Because uh, they've all arrived in our court anyway. Uh, we'll see it on this capital here. It looks like our ally is going to go and defeat their main army, which is fantastic for us. It means we don't have to do it. And then we'll just come over and take their capital. No, go this way. Ah, too late. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, we took a bit of attrition there. We didn't have to, but we'll come and siege down their capital. And then we should basically be done here as well. Oh, they retreated directly onto us. So we're going to defeat them again. Fantastic. Oh, we stole their banner as well. Awesome. I always love stealing people's banners. Uh, the Battle of Trier ended in an astounding victory. I eagerly listened to the messengers. He reads the report to my commander, Count Og Ogimos, and then turned to the soldiers before me. My lord, we came upon the enemy banner while we were cleaning the battlefield. They were just stealing everything. We thought it would be a shame to leave it behind. Perhaps you would like to keep it as a trophy. Sure will. 2% 9 effectiveness. Oh, actually, does that activate when we when we do it? We get a personal claim on the Upper Lauranian. Why do we spend prestige to do it? I don't understand. I don't really understand why it costs us prestige to do this. I guess it's like frowned upon that we're stealing their banner, I guess. Or we can just gain some prestige. So I'm kind of tempted to just take the prestige, actually. What are we? Where are we? Where are we? Let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot we're a child. <laughs> we're rowdy. No, we just destroy it. We just destroy it. Uh, how old are we? Nine. Okay. Well, at least we started off our reign quite well. All right, what have we got to do here? We can negotiate alliance with our with our heir. I mean, why not? He's the Duke of Normandy, so that keeps him on our side. We're not going to worry about him rebelling against us. A Victoria can marry. I think that's our our mother. Yes, it is. Um. I mean, do we care? Probably. Um, or do we not? Do you want, we probably don't actually care, do we? We'll just marry her off to anyone. We should grant Gwened. Oh yeah, we keep having to... Uh, we keep getting told to do that, and I I don't really want to. I kind of want to keep it, but uh, we might have to. So we'll take a look at that in a second. Oh, it also looks like we need to hire a court physician. Didn't realize we were missing this. Oh, we can have our mother. Do you want? Let's do that. She will surely not use that uh, against us, so uh, we'll, we'll roll the dice with this. We've got some prisoners here. House Viscus Ludicus. Um, she like a... She's a claim. He's unlanded as well. I wondered whether she was... Oh, Luxembourg. Oh, no, no, that's her name. I thought this was like a... You know, like a, she was like a count or something like that, a countess, but uh, no, she's not. She's zealous, just, and lustful. Gallo-Roman. Do you know we'll just release these people. Uh, yeah, we'll just release them. Who cares? And there we go. Oh, one thing. Oh, yeah, we never converted. Do we have... Do we have a guardian? No. Yeah, we still do have a guardian. Oh, they are of that religion still. So, okay, we might still get converted before we come of age. And then this is our, uh, our brother. Saying he will, uh, he will definitely uh, ally with us. What else have we got? 
Don't, we can't sway you though because you're a child or we're a child even you're not It'd be hilarious if you were a child and you were our archbishop oh he's actually way better 14 nice replace that person who was terrible what was he like two something awful now uh, whenever i see my acquaintance out of this person he comes up with me with a new toy of to with a new way of tormenting me this time he tipped over a can candelabrum and put the blame on me he scares me but what can i do this troublemaker He's bossy. Well, that'll do it. Oh, we're rowdy. Like, can we not just, like, cause him some trouble? Gain arbitrary, gain lazy, gain craven. I mean, I don't really want any of these. He, he becomes our bully. I mean, I guess I'll become arbitrary. Ah, uh, do you know It does lower our stewardship. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll be fine. We can recover from that. It's not going to be too much trouble for us. Oh, another one. Julia of Montague has a claim on the Duchy of Aquitania, which is down here. I think that's the one we've already taken, isn't it? Oh, no, it's Provence. Oh, no, yeah, Aquitaine would be further down here. So could we go to war for her claim on this? You know, I mean, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, we need to finish this war first. We'll have a look into that. Uh, yeah, we need a new composition because we just gave away our uh, <laughs> gave away our mother, so she can no longer be in. Can't do this. We can't do anything about that. Don't really care about this. Or this. And none of these really we need to worry about just yet. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll siege down the capital here. And then we'll uh, we'll probably head down and remove the siege that they have here. We could finish this war depending on who we capture. Oh, we actually stole something. That's pretty cool. We stole the uh, Retio Roman Treaties. A lot of piety. Okay, and prestige. Interesting. We'll probably equip that then. Uh, far from home, a stranger brought before me. He's waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege. My, gu my guard informs me. We've got Probus here from House Gordain. He's not very good. But to be fair, John, let's let's um let's bring him anyway. Just because the more people I just find having more people in your um in your court kinda helps as like interactions that can be useful to have more people with. Uh Pillow of the Community, I've noticed my Archbishop has been nervously pacing the room. Valerius, what is the matter? It is Attilius, my liege. Who's that? Is that the guy we just accepted? No, somebody else. He's taking to, scare, to scaling a pillar in the palace courtyard in the morning and remaining there all day in quiet contemplation. Okay, I mean, do we do we care? I'm just going to say this. Like, I, I, like, who cares? It's just some random courtier that we have. I'm not that bothered about how he spends his days, if I'm being honest. There we go. We we defeat their army again. We're at 64%, so if we remove these sieges here, we should basically um, uh, win this war. Right, we might equip this. Actually, we have quite a few bits here now. Um, I might get rid of this, the Morsel of St. David. Let's get rid of that. That's not that good. And then, yeah, I think we'll equip this. Gives us some nice piety. Gives us some nice prestige. Let's do it. Monthly learning life. Oh, this is 5% no matter what. Oh, no, learning lifestyle. I can't even read. I, I just said it out loud. So if we, we, we were a learning character, this would give us some additional bonuses. But it's fine for the other things. I'll take extra piety and prestige all the time. Actually, what are we focused on? Marshall. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, we got 13 prowess. That's all right. A yeah, base 5 prowess. Okay. I'll take it. Oh, you yeah, finished the siege. We got 78%. So yeah, if we remove this siege here, I think... I think this war should surely be finished then. We defeat their army a bunch, so oh, I, I believe so. We've been hosting my, your chancellor, uh, Twasog, <laughs> this guy, for several weeks. He's helped me truly understand the splendor of your realm. Awesome. He's going to like us a little bit more. Oh, actually, we've got some money. So let's see. Can we upgrade our, uh, our homeland a little bit? No, we need 200 prestige. So we'll have to try and get some of that. Oh, looks like our ally here is going to defeat them again. Yeah, we must have maxed out battles. Yeah, we have. We maxed out battles. We just need to, yeah, remove this. This will give us 10%. And then we'll also get the um, additional bonus, I think, for them not owning any of our land. I think there's a bonus for that. I can't remember off the top of my head, actually. But I think it'll... Oh, no, no, it did swing us by 9%. And then, yeah, I guess we'll just siege down some of their random land then. Now, it looks like we might have a faction. 
We've got the uh, Tyrannic Populists. And, oh no, Disillusion Faction. What? Oh, loads of people are joining this. <laughs> oh no, we don't want that. Uh, let's see if we can demand his conversion. What what faith is he? Hellenic? Yeah, I don't care about that. Oh no. Uh, can we marry someone into your family? Then that'll stop them doing it. No, we only have courtiers free. Hmm. I mean, we've got allies. We we'd have the Eastern Roman Empire to come help us. So, oh, he wouldn't. He he wanted to. Uh, he couldn't turn his face from Olympus. So. Is what it is. Motherly advice, there are wise men and women in my realm, but I doubt that a single one of them could best my mother in a debate. And that's probably true. I mean, look how good she was. She was ludicrously good, to be honest. Um, share your learning with me. Plus three learning. I mean, I'm just going to say yes. It looks like she will direct some of our stuff. Wait, does she take over as our guardian? No. No, okay, doesn't matter then. There we go, we finally won this war. So we're going to take this duchy here. Awesome. We have got too much land, but that doesn't matter because we're going to give this away anyway. Uh, which duchy is it? Belgium Prima. Yes, we'll form this. So then we'll give this away. What we'll do is we'll create a local Britonic character here. Why did it make... Oh, no, that's us. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, did it make a 10-year-old? <laughs> right, let's do this, and then we'll give them this touchy title. And then they'll, uh, you know, we'll have somebody of our culture in charge, or at least they'll like us for that reason. Uh, looks like we have some events in here. We're a child. I didn't think you got events, but I guess you do. There's no one stood here. <laughs> let's get a pet cat. Why not? Homesick mother. Oh, is this our mother trying to say she wants to come back? I'm making my social rounds around court, and I hear yet another heavy sigh from my mother. Perhaps intentional or not, Mayor Victoria's solemn presence is not gone unnoticed. Well, hello, my child. She says after the initial startle wears off. I cannot tell for certain if Victoria's being melodramatic or truthful. Please pay me no mind. I'm simply homesick. That is all. Wait, she's homesick to be here or homesick to be where we moved to? How about you import some Hispano-Roman delicacies? No, because we don't care about Rome, so. Perhaps you could teach me some Latin. Sure, that's not the worst idea. It would help us in some other region, in, in some other things. Or we'll gain some dread. <laughs> we could gain dread. It would help uh, prevent some rebellions. We are rowdy, I suppose. The <laughs> ungrateful leech. <laughs> that's no way to speak to your mother. Um. Joe, I'm going to do this one. I'm just going to get the prestige of our court grandeur. Look at us. We look cool in this, <laughs> in, in here. We just, um, where are we? Throne view. Look at us. Just sat there, chilling on our massive throne. <laughs> Love it. The cat. What should we call it? Might paws or snow? We'll call him snow, just because it matches our colour. Oh, there's our bullies back again. He's apparently ordered the other children to avoid me, and now they all grow quiet around me. There must be he must be able to see reason. We are rowdy, so I'd say we'd go up and basically say, like, what are you doing? He doubles down on the bullying. It didn't work. Did not work. Oh dear. Well. Well, what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? Okay, all these are going to rebel. I mean, at worst, like, we can just revoke these titles and then give them to uh, Britonic characters, and then, you know, it's all good, basically. Uh, we will have to wait. I would do another war, because we could do a kingdom war and take all of his... Oh, we need 800 prestige. Okay, yeah, we'll wait for these rebellions to finish, and then hopefully farm up some prestige when we come of age. Still got a while. Mm, that's a little bit annoying. But yeah, when we come of age, we'll basically attack this and take all of Aquitaine. Look, at her. look how look how uh, holy she thinks she is. She's a holy warrior. She's chaste, zealous. She's like super holy. <laughs> She's just zealous, chaste. A mastermind philosopher and a holy warrior. I mean, fair play to her. She is pretty uh, devout. Uh, no, I will not be threatened. <laughs> There's no way I'm... Dissolving my entire kingdom. 
Uh, you're a terrible marshal, so we'll move you here. Oh, you're awful. Well, actually, a pretty good steward. So, uh, what are you good at? Are you good at anything? Really? Hmm. Mock not the horse. <laughs> I love the fact that they're, they're like house words. Mock not the horse. Um, I guess this guy. There's no way I'm putting the other guy. In, I'm putting the other guy there. I mean, we'll put him here. I suppose he hates us. Is he a rival? Why does he hate us so much? Oh, because he's tyrannic. Yeah, basically, he's got so many modifiers. He, he hates us for that reason. Right, let's call in dynasty member. Oh no, I don't want to cost. Now, nah, for two hundred, it's not worth it. We'll call our allies though. This is a defensive war, so it won't cost us anything to call them in. And we got we're gonna have to wait for the uh the uh Eastern Roman Empire to, to join us, obviously. It's gonna take a while for them to sail all the way here, but it is what it is. And faith truth? Oh nice! Yes, we converted. Awesome. We converted. Fantastic. No more of that Roman belief. We are now druidic faith. Amazing. We make him convert? Oh, we're probably not all. Oh, no, because he's independent. Um, awesome, though. That's great. So that means our children will be of our religion as well. Nice. That's that's great for us, to be honest. Right, let's see if we can defeat this guy over here. Are you our best commander? Oh, these ones are busy. Bend the swords of our enemies? We'll do this, because why not? Gives us some prestige. And like I say, we want to get up to 800 prestige so we can then just attack Aquitaine and take all of uh, Aquitaine off them. And then we'll do this. So we've got another faction forming. Oh no, yeah, this one here. All these people. Oh yeah, of course, because we've now converted, um, they're all going to hate us, aren't they? <laughs> Let's see if we can get any of these guys to convert. Yeah, I forgot about that, to be honest. Well, do you know what? I didn't really forget about it, but... No, do you know what? No, I did forget about it. <laughs> but we couldn't turn down the opportunity to convert for free. Um, if we'd had to do it, you know, through gameplay, it would have cost us so much uh, piety. That uh, I think it's worth it. We might have some issues here for a little while. I'm going to say no. Say no. Okay, wow, none of them are going to... He gets a weak hook on us. I'm going to give him it, because why not? He's already on the council, so anything for the faith? Yeah, we'll give him 50 gold to convert. He gets a weak hook on us. See, that's the thing. Like, It's worth it because he converts him and all his family converts to our religion. So, yeah, he gets a weak hook on us. At worst, he'll put himself on the council. It is what it is. Oh, yeah, and they now become a high shaman. And, of course, they had to convert to... Obviously, it had to be someone of the um, of our religion. Uh, do you want, let's give them an artifact. Oh, well, they're not accepted because it's a low... See, this Solomon's sword we're not using, so I'm going to give them this. Inheritance. You inherited the chief... Oh, our, our brother died. So we've just inherited all of Normandy. He's our vassal. I'm going to give it to this guy. High chieftain of Normandy. There we go. And then... What we'll do is... Wait, he still dislikes us? Oh no, I thought he'd like us. I thought he'd like us. Um, oh, this guy up here now owns some of it. Okay, that's annoying. Wait, do we own this? Isn't Ruan part of Normandy? Yeah, it is. Yeah, let's, let's also give that to him. And then surely he'll like us, because then we can convert him. Yeah, plus eight. Let's see if he'll convert now. 22% chance he will say yes. Yes, nice, he converted. Awesome. Right, okay, well, <laughs> we'll see how we do. Uh, who's the main leader of this rebellion? These guys here? Bar? Okay, we'll have to go after them next. Um, are, they, are the Eastern Roman Empire coming to help us? Oh, here they come with 10,000 troops. Oh, nice. Okay, he actually just he used it to get a pardon, which is fine, because I wouldn't have used that against him anyway. So... I'll take it. Because, um, yeah, we, we probably wouldn't have done that, so... 
it's kind of worth giving that away just to get him to convert. And there we go. We'll almost win this. And then, oh no, we've been raided as well. Oh, we're going to have to come over and defeat these guys. Oh, we stole another book. A memory of Faustina about his grandmother. I kind of feel bad stealing that then. <laughs> this book to remind him of his grandma and we just stole it from him. <laughs> Putting attraction nestled in my bed under my heart skin, I drift to sleep in a warm haze. Um. Yeah, we'll just dream of a girl. Yeah, we, we yeah, defeating these guys is going to help us. Oh no, pro console. Oh no, everyone's joining it. Everyone's joining this faction. It might cause some trouble. Uh, the finer points of diplomacy. Vessels will at times overstep their bounds. Yeah, I think we're well aware of that at the moment. So we can become forgiving, trusting, or patient. Yeah, let's do um, this. Let's, let's become forgiving. Oh no. <laughs> Freedom, you shall have death. Oh dear. Right, what, what we should do is find the leader of this rebellion. Where is he? He's, he must be in this army here. So we're going to come defeat this guy first, because then that should destroy this rebellion. And then we can deal with the other... Oh no, they're sieging down our capital? No. <laughs> no. Right, let's... Um, let's call these into this other war as well, whilst they're here. Oh nice, look at this. Oh, she's actually come to war herself. Look at this armour, this armour looks amazing. Yeah, so she's actually come and joined the war. So why is it? Oh, because we've got no commander. Hey, that's a bad idea. Oh, it still says we'll lose? Wait, what? Wait, are they sieging down land that's in the other rebellion? Okay, that's weird, but sure. It says we're going to lose it, though. We kind of want to scare them away from here. Better army commander? Why can we not use this guy? Is he busy? Cannot command armies. Is he commanding another army or is it war against you? Oh, that's why. Ah, Joe, it says we're going to lose this fight. Let's, yeah, let's not do this. Oh no, they sacked our, <laughs> they sacked our capital. Um, we're actually winning this war. Can we wind pieces? Would not accept. Minus 10. Okay, let's, um, I guess let's try and catch these guys up. Oh. Avaranches spared. Despite successfully besieging the settlement of Avaranches, a fortification protecting... Okay. Oh, because they, they siege more of this down. Jordan, no, let's just come over and defeat their main army over here. And then we can come back and deal with these later. Where are they going? <laughs> oh, now you're sailing all the way around. Make your minds up. Are we going to lose this if we head here? Can we get any um, mercenaries? Oh, no. Okay, well, we're going to have to head down here instead. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, don't do this. Is it too late? Oh, it's too late to avoid it. Oh, dear. Are you our best commander still? Yes. Okay, well, we're fighting them on this hill. We're getting absolutely wrecked. I don't know why it said there was a chance we'd win this. <laughs> there was no way in this world we were going to win it. Right, well, that didn't go well. We really need the uh, the Romans to come and... Guys, make your minds up. <laughs> they just keep switching. We'll walk. No, we'll go by ship. No, we'll walk. No, we'll go by ship. Could you make your mind up, please? Minus four. Okay, we might be able to white piece this out. Ah, they're sieging so much of our land, though. That's the problem. Like, I think they'll keep... Oh, wait. No, this just jumped. Minus one. Okay, if this gets to 22%, we'll be able to white piece. 
No, it won't. I was at zero. I need to get to 23. Now. <laughs> now, before this siege is down. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's wild. I'm not 100% sure why they would accept that, but let's go with it. Let's not, uh, let's not argue with their logic. Oh, and the other war just finished because the guy died who was head of it. Okay, well, um, sure. Okay, both of those just ended really quick. Um, yeah, we'll, um, yeah, we'll just, I guess we'll just remove our armies and then we'll figure out what we're going to do in the next war. So yeah, there we go. We, uh, we, <laughs> we finished all that fun time. Um, we should, let me have a look. Yeah, that should deal with all these factions for a while because obviously these uh, people here, the pro consuls, I think they're all pro consuls actually, uh, and this duchess here, uh, they obviously can't join any more factions against us for five years. Yeah, five years because we did white peace, so we should be able to stabilize stuff. By then, we'll also be of age. That's also going to help. Uh, our faith and culture being wrong is going to cause us problems. But what we can do is we can then uh, start revoking these titles and give them to people of our of our religion at least he's of our culture so that's not too bad but uh, yeah these other ones we're, we're probably gonna have to try again actually actually saying that i think quite a few of them were of our culture as well yeah because when we've been giving them out we've been trying our best to do that so most of them are but some of these we're gonna try rev can, we, can we revoke yours oh no we have a truce so we can't let's see can we demand her conversion let's see if we can do that with these ones that had just rebelled against us you are religion. You're not, but I think we just asked you. Yes, we did. You're not. You're not. She looks quite nice. <laughs> uh, where's she from? That. She's from East Germany? Samari Samaritan? Okay. Oh, she's from... No, wait, she's from House Montague? Oh, that's weird. Oh, wait, no, no. We had that thing, didn't we? Where... Yeah, no. Ignore me. She's got four trades. I kind of want to marry her. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to marry you. Uh, who are we currently... Yeah, you're uh, you're basically a nobody, aren't you? Oh, no, she's... No, this is how we get in our alliance with the Byzantines. Okay, well, if... Um, I guess if she dies, uh, we might divorce her daughter and marry this person. She looks really cool. <laughs> no, she said no. Un unsurprisingly, she said no. Again, she'll get a weak hook on us. Mm -mm. Do we care about that? No, I'm going to do it because again, she converts all her family to to um, to our religion. I think this is worth it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But I think if you're trying to convert a large like area, I think it's worth taking a, a weak hook to convert their entire family to our religion. So, I mean, she still hates us. Fair enough, but um, yeah, I think it's worth doing. I think it's worth making that uh, that decision. And then, yeah, we're going to have this faction. <laughs> Look how big it is now. Um, well, any of these... I think we've already tried converting all these people, but let's try see if there's anyone we've missed. 86%. Well, that's good. And again, if these rebel, we should be able to deal with them this time. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, but anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there for today. So another bit of a weird episode, but we, you know, we've strengthened our realm, really. And we've put down those rebellions. And then we can finally, we're 200 prestige short. We are going to come of age soon. Was it two more years? And then we, we, should be, we should be able to get a bunch of prestige at that point. And then we can just go to war. We're going to go to war with this guy. And we're going to basically take his entire um, kingdom off him at that point. Oh, he, actually, he's got a lot of troops. Well, he's got no money. So maybe we'll just have to wait for an opportune moment. Oh, yeah, he's got so many allies. Okay, let's... Uh, Oh, we already have him pinned. How old is he? 43? Um, he's an adulterer. He's a known adulterer. Maybe we could get someone to kill him. Now look at him. It's, he's only got 400 troops, but obviously his allies have got way more. They've got, you know, 5,000, another 5,000. So they're going to be the problem part, but we'll see what we can do. We might be able to figure this out and uh, kind of free that up and do that. And then we might come after the Slayan Franks as well. Oh, they've got a bunch of allies as well. Okay, we'll pin all these. Basically, when any of these people die, we can take advantage of it. So, yeah, we kind of want to take all this land off the uh, Franks. Can we do a Kingdom War for that as well? Oh, we can do. Nice. Yeah, we can take Austrasia off them. So, yeah, we can do that. 
We've got this small uh, Luxembourg here. We can take them out as well. Oh, in fact, we can do that straight away. Okay, we'll do that next episode. And then, yeah, we're going to carry on. Basically, just taking as much land down here. We've got all these independent places down here we can take as well. Even these. Yeah, and then basically these are these are like the big troublemakers in our area. Uh, famous last words, you know, Italia might come and attack us or something like that. I don't see why they would, but they could. So, um, yeah, I think we'll... Um, we, we should be able to make some good headway in the next couple of episodes. But anyway, yeah, we'll leave it there for today. Uh, hit that like button if you've enjoyed it. It helps other people find the series and the channel in the future. And if you're new here, I play Crusader Kings. I cover the dev diaries and things like that, but I also play other historical titles on the channel. So if that's your kind of thing, you know what to do, hit subscribe. But yep, we'll leave it there for today, and I'll see you in the next one.